When we think about the arts, we really are thinking about how we see each other in ways, in new ways. Today, we really live in a highly polarized world. We live in a world where we have forces breaking us apart, pulling us apart. I like to think of them as centrifugal forces whether versus centripetal forces. We see a, a, a political discourse that highly focuses on our differences. We see, again, social media and, uh, and other elements that are highly focused on the ways that we are different from each other. Uh, honestly, oftentimes, making us think about ways in which we dislike each other. We feel like you know, we are very separate from each other. And in this time, it is more important that we ever, than ever that we have, uh, we have forces like the arts that allow us to see what is, what is best in each other, really allow us to have empathy for each other and to provide a sense of the humanity of all of us. That way the arts can be a centripetal force, as I said, binding us together as we mend the fabric of our society through seeing the, our common humanity. For example, a novel can transport you to the unimaginable pain of an enslaved woman who fears the loss of her children. Or a song can translate the anxiety of residents from a formerly industrial town and their concerns about the loss of hope. Each of those do more than any news article can ever do because they connect you emotionally. And that is really what is so vital in this time. The understanding we have of people's lives, the emotional connection the arts creates to make us see people who are very different from ourselves. And honestly, that is central to democracy because in a democracy, we really must be able to see the human dignity of all Americans.